So last time we managed to get through the entire Elite Four, including that really weird interview that I had to do beforehand that felt more like an interrogation. It is now time to face the champion. We already know who it is. There's been a slight change up in the team. Per her own request, actually, Thor has asked if she can sit this one out. Tell you the honest truth, she hasn't been the same since, you know, what happened. So almost poetic in a way, Methane is back in. This is the squad. In fact, you know what? Let me hit the montage. Listen, I'm ready. The team is ready. If you're ready, let's do this. Gita. First of all, I want to have a word with you about possible workplace bullying that might be going on here. I don't know, your staff members just seem like they're a bit too keen on me winning this. This is taking place on the roof. Interesting. The final test is a battle against me, the top champion. To pass, all you need to do is win. No shit. Before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. You see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for the league chairwoman. I'm utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to Pokemon battles. I don't think you should be apologizing to me. I think you probably want to be apologizing to your own employees. Maybe that's why nobody's passed this test recently. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. But you, you might have... You might have Chlamydia. You might manage something wonderful like Champion Nimona did. So they're really going in on this whole, like, Nimona's the only other person who's managed to get this done. Are you ready for your final test? Yes. Let's do it. Yeah, 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 just hang on. It's alright, but I'll tell you what it just ain't. She starts with Espathra. This thing's a pain in the ass, but it is a psychic type, which means I've actually got a good matchup here, so let's get Crunch. Dazzling Gleam, that's gonna hurt, but we get the special defense boost off the Sandstorm. What's the matter? You're not one to let something so into. Yeah, how you? you, what, you what, in what world do you think that flustered me? It barely did a quarter of my health. And you're dead. Fluster my ass. Come on, send out something proper. We got Avalug. Avalug that's an ice type, correct? And you want to send that in against my Tyranitar. I'm going to switch because I know this thing's physically bulky as hell, so I think Louise can take this. I don't know exactly what Avalug stats are, but it, do you know what? It just looks like one of them ones that's a physical tank, so let's just go for an overheat. Let's go straight in. I'm not even wasting no time with this one. I get to switch anyway if I want to. Instant kill. Gita, I have to say, this is... Uh, at this rate, I think Hassel should have been the champion. Or actually, no, no. What am I talking about? Larry should have been the champion. The Paldean Dream. He's a Paldean man. King Gambit. Okay, we're not playing anymore. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, this thing kind of terrifies me. Let's go Donald. Let's go Donald. King Gambit is scary, but I don't think it lives a close combat. Not from the main man himself. Big Donny. This is the first time we're fighting one of these. Supreme Overlord. Dude, what a name for an ability. That's just... How are you going to fight something that has an ability called Supreme Overlord and you're not like... You haven't got shit dripping down your leg. Close combat, though. Instant kill. You ain't Supreme Overlord anymore. Go, go. That's um, the evolved form of, I don't know what it's called, but I think I know what that is. Can I just say this battle has been piss easy so far? Is this what I think it is? It is exactly what I think it is. Don't know what this thing's saying. I'm honestly just going to click overheat again. Wow, it's the first thing on our team that actually survived something. I think this thing must be bulky as hell to live that. All right, not much of a response. <laughs> Finish it with a hyper voice, go on. I'm sorry, I can't, like, this is the champion? You gotta be shitting me. Nah, you're good. Sandstorm subsided. Oh god, she's got a, uh, she's got one of them ones. Voting for loser! And it's dead. I'm not even over-leveled. I'm pretty much bang on in terms of level, it's just... Her, her team just sucks. Don't think you've won just yet. I'm not being funny, Gita. You've I've insta-killed basically everything on your team. And can I just say, Glimora, why do you not lead with this thing? Doesn't this thing have an ability where it drops toxic spikes when it gets hit? Why are you not leading with this thing? I don't know, man. Have an earthquake. Gita, please, I beg of you, do something. Because this has been piss poor. This has been... Please show me something. Earth power? Okay. You... 
This cannot be it. Okay, it lives. I'm going to switch, though. There's the Toxic Spikes. A little bit late. See, why? this is what I'm talking about. What a great Pokemon to lead off with. I thought this thing's special attack was supposed to be, like, off the fucking scale. I don't know, but I kind of like that we're finishing it this way. If we could all just stand and salute the main man himself, Donald Duck, as he puts an end to this absolute joke of a champion fight. Signing off, ladies and gentlemen. That is your champion. That is the great Gita that only Nimona has been able to defeat. So this is where you've got like a second team and that wasn't actually... No way that was... That was it. No, I really... I think that's it. Congratulations. It's my honor to call you Champion Wolfie. Oh, the rest of them are up here as well. Yay, you did it, mister. Wow. Wow. That's about as much emotion as I've ever seen out of Larry. Thank you, Larry. I appreciate your congratulations more than anyone else's, can I just say. Hassel's having another breakdown. And Rika says, Ooh, it is now your duty to set an example for all the traders of Paldea. Allow me to walk you back to the entrance. I'm certain you'll find a familiar face awaiting you. Ah, yes, here we go. The actual champion battle. Please, Nimona, you have to save this episode. Oh man, I can tell just looking at you. You did it, right? You became a champion? Got word from La Primera when you cleared the elite test. Oh man, Wolfie, I'm a champion, now you're a champion. Let's you and me, best rivals for life. Okay, Nimona, I know I take the piss. Like, it, it's what I do. It's nothing personal, I do it to everyone. You do follow me around, it is a little bit stalkerish. You have a bit of an obsession. But jokes aside, you are actually possibly the most relatable rival I have ever seen. I might be a bit off here, but it kind of seems to me like her whole motivation for being your rival is she's beaten the game. She's done it. And it was piss easy. And honestly, can I just say having faced Gita, I get it. She basically has taken you under her wing and nurtured you and helped you to get better because she just wants some competition. She just wants someone who's actually on her level. I respect the shit out of that. Yes, I know what treasure I got out of all of this. I found a true rival, someone who can stand up to me at my full capability. See, I told you, she just wants competition. So glad I got to meet you, Wolfie. Anyway, that being said, I'll be waiting for you at the battle court in Mesa Goza's Central Plaza. See you there. Listen, she's a meme and she's a little weird, but I actually really like Nimona. The best rival that I've seen in a while. Any second now? Ah, there you are. Ready for a battle between champions? It's like we have spectators as well. Whole town's here. The Elite Four's here. Whole region's gonna turn up at this rate. Clavel's here. Geeta's here. Larry just kicking it in the back. We finally get to battle Nimona at her full strength. I've been waiting for this. Let's do it. Oh, she got herself some new music as well. All right, okay. Already it's 10 times better than Geeta. What you got? Lycanroc? Yep, we've seen that. Big man's gonna come start this one up again. Time to begin our greatest battle of all. Let's do it. Let's get into this. I'm excited. What level is she saying? 65. I'm a... Damn. <laughs> I'm fairly confident she leads with Stealth Rock. Wow, okay. She ain't playing. We're actually doing this properly. A little bit underleveled, but we're gonna be... We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I'm that underleveled. Her Lycan Rock lived my Earthquake. Real run. Oh, that kind of hurt. But we're gonna get the first kill. All right, 1-0. What's next? Pormop. Kind of want to save big man potentially until later. Let's go Methane. Let's go Methane. See if he can do it. You ain't really get to see any action against Gita, so I'm happy for you to get a piece here. Oh, Psychic super effective? Get the fuck out of here! Oh. Used up all its electricity. What does that mean? Is this thing an electric fighting type and does that move get rid of its electric type because if it does then we go collingwood play rough i fucking hurt that must be some powerful move though play rough doesn't even kill okay at least the attack's down a bit close combat damn, damn. this is not going well this is not going well at all i might actually lose this Oh no, it's dead, it's dead. Okay, hang on. Okay, this is good. This is good. Thank you, Sandstorm. Okay, what are we doing? Shag. Let's get out here and see if we can set up. You could be the game changer here, my friend. Gudra. Not sure how I feel about this. Let's get a sword stance. May have to terastalize. Dragon Pulse. Ouch. 
I need that sandstorm. Yes, thank you. Perfect timing. There's absolute fat chance of this killing, but I'm going to try it anyway. I've got to try. I've got to see if I can do it. We're committed to the cause now. we got to do this. Come on, Slash. Really use a crit here. If you fancy it. Is that a crit? Oh, that wasn't even a crit. Okay. Come on, Shag! Orthworm, say less. Send it out. I got it covered. Are oh, you about to get the Shag sausage? Which could be taken out of context very easily. Dude, Shag's really come out here to just be the game changer. Orthworm's gone. The done sparse. Another close combat coming up. We turned the table completely. We turned the tables completely with this one. Yeah, they had us in the first half. I'm not going to lie. Here comes Foghorn. I've got Night Slash. She needs a chandelier. Has anybody got a chandelier? Oh, shit. Yeah, of course. Oh, damn. Of course. It's not ghost type anymore. Look at me forgetting how terrestrialization works every single episode. I know Skeledurge is quite slow. I'm just going for Stone Edge. Fuck it. Oh, no. He's faster. Louise, I just want you to just get hits. Get it? That'll do. That'll do very nicely. It's coming down to the wire, lads. See, this is the champion battle that I wanted. This is more like it. It comes down to our two starters. Well, Donald, I want to see some real stepping and put an end to this fight. We did it. Shag kind of carried. This is legit incredible. You're the strongest out there, Wolfie. You knocked me flat, and I was giving you absolutely everything I had. Everything I... She, like, actually can't contain herself. Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me for real this time. Good game. The hassle just over there smiling, knowing he's the only other person who managed to run me that close. We'll definitely have to run it back one time. Oh, man, I love that one. That was such a good fight. Victory Road complete of course you know what comes next the one that i think we've all been waiting for mummy issues it's time boys